God. He is worthy of a praise, giving glory all of our days. So we lift our hearts to heaven above as we see the fullness of His love. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on whatever part of the world that you're in. And and I'm thankful to say that uh, I have people that watch this broadcast. Right now I'm doing a triple broadcast, and some of these will be forwarded, you know, in other places. And uh, I'm thankful to say that there are some of you that are over in other countries, over in other parts of the world. And, you know, that really encourages me. I, I just I just love that. I'm so thankful to have you. I started doing these uh, devotionals, for those of you who may not be familiar with me, uh, when the pandemic started. And I've just kept on doing them since then. And uh, so I try to do them Sunday morning. Sometimes it's afternoon by the time I get to them due to a... Maybe church schedules would get in the way. But anyway, I, I'm glad you're here today. And I'm just going to do a, a short time today because I do uh, have to get going in a few minutes, head over to church. So uh, let me uh, do, finish the song and we'll just do a short devotional. But thank you for being here. I hope you will subscribe uh, to my YouTube videos. I hope you will. And make sure you click on the things that you like them, unless you don't like them, of course, you know. <laughs> Of course, you, of course you like them, right? <laughs> I hope. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. If you have not already, would you please go and check and see? If you have not, would you please subscribe? It's important. Praise the Lord. Lift our hearts on high. By His love and grace we are free. Jesus, save you. Lord and King, shed by His blood on Calvary. Praise the Lord, lift your hearts on high. In His love and grace we are free. Jesus, Savior, Lord and King, shed His blood on Calvary. He gave His best for you. So worthy, he is worthy, give him all your praise, worthy, oh so worthy, praise him all our days. There's more to that song, but that's okay for now. All right, now are you praising the Lord? Are you glad to be here? Are you realizing that he is so worthy and we are so unworthy? Bible says in comparison to his righteousness, our our righteousness are as filthy rags, you know. So at our very best and compared to the holiness of the Lord, you know, it's like filthy rags, but we, we're all constant. They're being cleaned up. They're being cleaned up. And we're learning to be more like Jesus as we walk in his love, mercy, and grace. And uh, we're being perfected. We're not perfect. Only Jesus Christ was the only one that walked the face of the earth that was ultimately perfect. And, and I'm not him, not even close, but we're being perfected. All right. I, uh, this morning I was reading uh, uh, in my second devotional in Luke chapter 19. And uh, Luke chapter 19. And uh, we see here about uh, Zacchaeus. And the tax collector, okay, Jesus entered Jericho, and he was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. Now, can you imagine? Hey, this dude's a tax collector, right? 
And, you know, what do you think of when you think of tax collectors? Well, back in Jesus' day, they were the scum of the earth. Now, I'm not saying they are today. There's good and bad to everything everywhere. In fact, I'm aware that uh, one of my friends <laughs> on Facebook who works for the IRS, and, I, and I'm under the impression he's a very good man. So, <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, uh, but anyway, you know they were known to be the scum of the earth, and and Jesus, you know, he he, uh, he was passing through, and, and and this guy was up in the up in the, he climbed a tree to get Jesus' attention. You little dude, you know. And when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. And so he came down at once and welcomed me gladly. He was. He was thrilled to pieces that Jesus recognized him and saw him up in that tree and told him to come down. All the people saw this, and you know what they did? You'd think they say, oh, man, Jesus is going to help that tax collector. Bless his heart. You know what they did? They murmured. <laughs> they murmured. And, and the people saw this, they began to mutter, and they said, he's going to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. That dude was repentant. You got that? He was repentant. He knew that he had cheated people. He knew he'd been dishonest, but he didn't want to do that anymore. He didn't want to be that way anymore. And so, you know, no matter what, is going on in a person's life. The Bible says, he says, whosoever will may come. Now, not everybody will come, but if you're willing to repent of your sins and turn away from them, make a U-turn and go God's way instead of instead of your way, God will bless that and he will honor that. Jesus said to them, said to him, today salvation has come to his house because this man too is the son of Abraham. Hey guys, this, this, so well, you guys are looking at him being judgmental and putting him down. His, his heart's where it ought to be, probably better than a lot better than some of you dudes out there, you know. And so <laughs> he says, Today's salvation has come to this house because this man, too, is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Zacchaeus was lost, he'd lived a uh, uh, obviously, a life as a tax collector, where back in those days, they skimmed whatever they could off the top. Give the government their share, whatever they could get on top of that. That was, that was you know, that's how they, they got extra money, through greed and, and abusing the people. And so Zacchaeus said, Man, yeah, he's not saying he didn't do that, but he's saying, Lord, I'm going to pay back everything I owe, and then, and then more so on top of that. And so Jesus verified he, Jesus knows his heart. You know, a lot of times we look at people and, and, and we say, oh my word, that, that one's never going to get saved. That one's never going to come to the Lord. That one's never going to repent, you know. And But only God knows the heart. I want to tell you that. You may be having someone in your life today and you say, that dude is hopeless. That guy, that gal, ain't no, ain't no way they're going, you know. Uh, and uh, But we don't know the heart. Okay, God says judgment is mine. Judgment is mine, saith the Lord. And that's up to him. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. Aren't you glad? Because I'd, I'd probably mess that up real, real good if I had that responsibility, you know. And so would you. All right, well, that's kind of the basics of it. You know, give your heart to the Lord. He will not disappoint you. If you're honest and you're sincere, uh, God blesses those who truly give their hearts to him. If you ask him to come into your heart and life to forgive you, to save you from your sins, God will do it. He will do it. And, uh, hey, good to see somebody from Bogota. Good. Hi, Ed. Good to see you on there. I appreciate it so much. And again, like I was saying earlier, I get people from all over the world on this thing. And it's exciting to me. It is. It's exciting. I love it because I get to share with people, uh, you know, that are all over, people that are not in my hometown, not in my home area, wherever I might be. You know, they're all over the world. That's exciting, guys. We need to take advantage of whatever opportunities that the Lord gives us. But the main opportunity for you and for me is to make sure that, first of all, we're not judging other people, right? But first of all, and within that, we need to make sure that our own hearts and lives are where they ought to be, that we've truly repented, turned away from our sinful lifestyles, and we make that decision for Christ and say, as for me and my house, as Joshua twenty four fifteen says, we will serve the Lord. Father, thank you for that determination that, that we need to have, and I just pray that 
you would be with each and everyone watching this broadcast today and help them in what area, whatever area of needs that they may have. If it's spiritual, if it's financial, emotional, whatever it may be, I just pray that you would help each and every one. Give them the assurance that you're working in their hearts and lives, that they're not hopeless, that as we give our hearts and lives to you, that you are you are God, you are Lord, you are Savior, Lord of all. And we praise you for it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hey, guys, you go with God and he'll go with you, that's for sure. Get out there and try to encourage somebody today, will you? Sometimes you can do it, you know, send a text or, or 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 do an email. It's better yet if you can call them in person, okay? Just pray. Say, Lord, who would you have me touch for you today? And if you're sincere, I bet somebody th before the day is over will pop into your lives or somehow, okay? Uh, and, and you could go visit them. You could call them. You could go visit them. And uh, God will bless you for it because he blesses faithfulness okay all right i gotta go gotta head for head for church this morning pastor don nm at gmail.com for prayer requests okay and uh pray for me or pray yeah pray for me too i'll pray for you and put prayer in the subject line and i'll know it's a prayer request okay pastor don nm that nm's like new mexico <laughs> pastor don nm at gmail.com thank you god bless have a great day everybody i plan to Bye-bye.